Well, you heard the bell and saw the rush at exactly the same time, and it was Tor Kamata who was attacked in his corner before the bell could really sound off. And Maniac Mark Lewin is doing what he does best, and that is to get a man down and then to keep stomping at him until he disappears. Oh, 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 solid smash into the ring post and Tor Kamata, who has that huge sumo wrestler uh, applique to the back of his robe, has received the kind of treatment he has in his career given to lots of people. In Texas, he has met a number of people who have been rougher than he was, something that uh, has not happened to him very often. Referee is Bronco Lubitsch. The time limit is 15 minutes or less. And Mark Lewis, maniac Mark Lewin, who has this crowd barking like a dog at him, is trying to make sure that when the Japanese gets back into the ring, if he gets back into the ring, he will not be in a condition to do any damage to the Maniac. Lewin with that tremendous chopping ability of his. He has a total disregard for what happens to that hand of his. And he has, he has Tor Kamada bleeding from cuts on the head where the blows have been landing. And now as uh, the Maniac steps in, he grabs a grip on that left pectoral muscle with both hands and the first offensive move that Kamada has been able to make and he hasn't been able to make very many defensive ones because of the constant pressure and pressure it is for and now he has switched arms he goes over after the right arm mainly because it was Kamada's right arm that uh, got the Japanese out of trouble left-handed blow and it got right out in the throat and he took the points of his fingers that time and drove them into the throat of of, of Mark Lewin drove them in there <laughs> and Lewin right now wants a moment to rest that's why he's keeping away from him and Kamada comes in there with those well-aimed wallops Listen to that crowd. They have gotten off their hands and their voices are sounding off and it comes alive here at the Coliseum. On the outside, Gary Hart, Natalie attired, shirt, tie, and certainly not his Sunday manners, that's for sure. So Tor Kamada now has seen the advantages and disadvantages of wrestling against a guy like Maniac Mark Lewin and having to contend with Gary Hart on the outside. You can see what's happened to him. He, he had that even before he was able to get back into the ring. He was thrown out of there from the initial burst of punishment that Lewin handed him, and again. Kamada looking for the opportunity to cut Lewin down to size. Kamada has trained long in many of the oriental styles of wrestling, sumo, judo, the American style, 
Karate. And as he concentrates now on the right arm of uh, maniac Mark Lewin, he's on that trapezius muscle, he's bearing down and <clears throat> pouring both hands into it, one hand supporting the other. Lewin's in trouble. This goes right down into the fingertips. This goes right down past the, the elbow with excruciating feelings and Lewin trying to get both arms now to see is notice how he's supporting that right one he's caught and he's trying to keep some feeling in it and Lewin right now is looking for something that will equalize his problem here and his problem is is Kamada and Kamada's problem is going to turn out to be to be Gary Hart <clears throat> his problem is still Kamada though but Hart on the outside is trying to figure out something that will put Maniac Mark Lewin back in the position of being able to retaliate. Oh, he chopped him across the head and face, and there's that rip. Lewin with a savage attack to the middle of the back with that knee. He had him set up for it, for sure. He recognized the fact. So man down is Tor Kamada. Here is the knee in the back to nullify the effort to escape and also to hold him steady for this reverse chin lock. A handful of nose is certainly a great handle to have on a man. So Kamada having his problem and Lua now pressing that elbow down into the hollow at the side of the neck in behind the collarbone, driving it down in there. There you see it. And Kamada can't move because the body of Maniac Mark Lewin is right in behind him and the pressure from the from the arm keeps driving in there. Outside, Mr. Hart moves. I think he doesn't want to splatter blood on his new suit. So Lewin tried to get some extra help from Hart that time, and Hart was watched too closely by referee Bronco Lubic. Come out of smart, keep it away from him, trying to recover some of his uh, ability to go on the offense, and now he's got to stay and face facts. And the fact is that he's still got a lot left in him. There again, looking for the weak spot. Drive at the spine, drive at the kidneys. And again, Kamada recognizing that that's exactly what Mark Lewin would do to him if he had the opportunity, takes full advantage of, of the opening. Lewin on the apron, and the Japanese will only get a five count, and he'd best beware or he's gonna be disqualified here. The fact that Lewin's on the outside doesn't lengthen the count.
Now the crowd hollering to Kamada to let, let Lewin have it. 10-minute mark has been reached, and the with with Lewin down and the boots being put to, to him, he's in a bad spot. This could be it. There's one, there's two. And from the look on Gary Hart's face, he had a feeling that that was it, and he was too far away to affect the course of things uh, for sure. Right into that ring post, and it didn't move a bit. And the... Here is Kamada. In behind, and he's got something, and it looked to me like a rope, that he is using around the neck of... Of, of Mark Lewin, and Lewin used something on the face of, on the face of the, of, of Kamada, whatever, well, oh, I see what was used. It, Tor Kamada came up there with a piece of chain, about as long, about as, long as a dog collar, and the, um, and, and, and Gary Hart complaining bitterly. And we're going to have Gary Hart's doing his hollering up here at me, but we're going to be back here in a moment. Well, in the Beaumont Civic Center on Thursday, February 7th, the Texas State heavyweight title will be on the line. What Ox Baker tries to take it away from maniac Mark Lewin and Mr. Gary Hart, who manages the maniac has a word to say about that. I would like to say one thing to everybody in Beaumont, Texas. Ox Baker is the biggest, the baddest dude they say ever walked into a wrestling ring. They say he's armed with a heart punch that he can put any three men out, that he's one of the most feared men in wrestling. Well, let me tell you, Mark Lewin did not win, and he does not expect to retain the Texas title easily. And we are pleased as we can be that everybody in Beaumont are going to see Lewin defend successfully against the big, ugly Ox Baker. Ox Baker may be big and Ox Baker may be ugly, but may we tell you that he is also tough. And we tell you, too, that tickets are on sale at the Beaumont Civic Center and the action and a tremendous card it is that brings top flight wrestling to the Beaumont and Golden Triangle area. We can tell you that on February the 7th, a Thursday night, we will have a big thing going. Make your plans now to attend. See Maniac Mark Lewin defending his title and Gary Hart telling him how. We'll be back again in just a moment. And Maniac Mark Lewin is going to have his hands full with the man who stands right alongside of me, Ox Baker. Ox. Paul, ever since I've come back to Texas, I heard one thing, that many, my, Maniac Mark Lewin has been running rod shot over a lot of people. Well, I've got one weapon in my arsenal. 32 men have stalled with this hard punch. And Maniac Mark Lewin, you've got that Texas heavyweight belt. And if I have to put that hard punch on you, not only for myself, but for the people of Beaumont, Texas, I can promise them one thing. They're going to carry him out of there because I will put that hard punch he will go down. I can promise these people he will go down. And the next time that Ox has a word for you, he's going to do it over the microphone. Our microphone was shut off, and what you were hearing was really Ox Baker, just in his normal tone of voice. Good luck, Ox. Thank you, Paul. It's a pleasure. All right. So Ox Baker will face maniac Mark Lewin. This is a match of two equally tough individuals, fellows who can dish it out and who can take it. In the Beaumont Civic Center on Thursday, February the 7th, the final event of the night happens to be the Texas title battle between Ox Baker and Maniac Mark Lewin, but we have tag team action when James J. Dillon manages the team of Sakaruda and Hita against Jose Lothario and Tiger Conway. I might add, this is my first opportunity to come to Beaumont, Texas, and I've handled some of the greatest wrestling talent in the world, which means it's a real treat that I have chosen, among with other commitments, to choose Beaumont, Texas, to bring Mr. Sakurata, who you see to my left, and Mr. Hito, and I think the only ones in the entire Civic Center in Beaumont that are going to be disappointed 
are going to have to be Jose Lothario and Tiger Conway Jr. Because I know before we ever arrive in Beaumont, before I ever put one foot in the city limits, that my men are going into Beaumont as the underdogs. I know that Lothario and Tiger Conway have a great following there, but you see, that doesn't bother me in the least because I don't need their support, the support of the people. My team will be winners. Well, you've heard from James J. Dillon. Mr. Hito here has been silent and Toa Sakurata, but who gets a chance to talk with James J. Dillon around? 